guys, someone very important is coming. He's a booker. So this is important. Yeah, it's important. I just said I was gonna join ISIS. Thank you for the drink though, Brian. No problem, man. Just consider it reparations. Sorry, I don't know if you can read my handwriting. The love, Call me the, the love, love host. host. Okay, I get you. it. Okay, thanks. You gotta go out there and show them you can be loose. You know, improvise your set. Improvise your set. I can have a beer on me. Oh, thank you. So don't nice. mention it. Ever. To anyone. Literally. Ever. All right. Hey, this is Alon, and it is lovely to be here. Good to see you all, uh, as always. So we're, we're going to get the show started, but before we do, let's go ahead and, uh, and we'll give away a, a drink ticket. So uh, like I said, uh, my name is Alon, but I'm also known, uh, better known by another name sometimes that uh, the people like to call me, um, love to call me. Uh, so if anyone can guess what that, uh, what that name is, I'll go ahead and give you a, a drink ticket and you can get... Uh, a drink at the bar. So if if uh, you can raise your your hands or you can, yeah. Space cowboy. I roofied him. I'm gonna get this fucking gig. <laughs> no, jokes are over there. It's okay. It's, we're a comedy show. But uh, let's let's give, give another try. I see Kevin over there. Is it? Yes, Alan, a great host. R, love host as well as comedy host of love, host they. You name, but ha ha funny. Comedy host implied, not title part. Your love hosting gave me wife because of your hosting love. A lot of people say, you know, Alon, you should write a novel. Uh, people say that to me a lot, but uh, I don't, I don't know if I, if I could, maybe. So let's get this show moving, folks. Uh, our first comic coming to the stage is Boyden. This is the love My hands. Oh, I got. I gotta go find me. Okay. Okay, that was some funny stuff. But let, let's uh, let's go ahead and keep the show going. Our next comic is uh, kind of just a normal guy who's gonna do a normal set. So uh, let's just, well, we're gonna keep it going and, and we're gonna uh, give, it, give it up for Kevin. This is the love host. Please, please. Uh, all right, I I'll speak up. There's like, there's like six people here. Man, white people be sleeping in some vomit. You know how white people be. They be sleepless in Seattle and they be sleeping in some vomit. Why are we talking about 9-11 so much and not about how there's two Aunt Vivians on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Tool time Tim Allen motherfuckers. One day I get home and there's a new Aunt Vivian. That's why I don't trust women. Why people be eating guacamole and why people be doing 9-11. Gluten free? That shit's expensive as hell. You know that Mufasa was Darth Vader? That's why I don't trust men. What white folks be doing, huh? They be eating that guacamole. Eating that guac. Uh, okay, thanks. Um. 
Okay, okay. A set. He did a he did a, a set, and it was great. So let's keep the momentum going. Uh, our next comic uh, is also going to do a set, just the same as as this uh, before. So let's go ahead and give him a hand. Let's give it up for Jacob. It's the love. I love the love host. He's fun. You're fun. Here's here's the thing about sleeping in vomit. I prefer a nice warm bed, a couple soft blankets. Um, and chairs. He's a guy sitting. <laughs> Was that enough jokes, Brian? Um talking, talking about Oprah. I you know, I always wish she would uh, give out something fun like I think a parakeet. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop doing jokes because I am very excited for the next comic, my sensei Brian. Brian's coming up, guys. <laughs> Brian, do you want Boy Danny anyway? You probably don't. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. Okay. <clears throat> Let's give it up for Jacob. Jake, thanks so much for uh, introducing our next comic. That, that is my job, but uh, you know, always nice for, for a friend to lend, to lend a helping hand. And, and thanks for taking care of uh, our friend boy Danny as well. And our final comic is going to come up. He's our uh, headliner and he's one of my best friends. I just love him. Uh, so please give it up for Brian. This is the last one. I'd say it's uh, great to be here, but it <laughs> obviously is not. I'm passed for Thursdays at Kazi's Comedy Club in Norfolk. Why am I here? I opened for Bo Burnham's Black Friend. I got an SNL audition catering gig. I handed Keenan a plate. He gave me his Twitter. He's a great guy, that guy. He, uh, he's, Keenan is very well spoken, and I've always said representation is very important. I've always said that, always said that. Anyway, do you guys ever notice that war is kind of like McDonald's? All right, guys, that was the show. Uh, thanks so much for coming. Uh, I'm Alon, uh, the love host, and uh, we, uh, we hope to see you again soon. So, lo love you guys. Whoa, whoa, please don't go, Benjamin. Is it Benjamin or Ben? It's please ben. don't leave. Okay, uh, all right. So? So what? So I got the gig. He's a funny boy. I would say funny person. It's 2018, but I cannot find girl Danny. And boy Danny is passed out, so it's gonna be one of us two, right? Or us three, you mean? I don't know if you saw me, I'm Alon, the love host. Yeah, no, I saw all of you. Get, this was a show, this was a show? If this was a show, it was literally the worst show I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what you thought this was, but I'm only here because I'm pretty sure the owner's fucking my wife, all right? So I'm gonna go. Wait, uh, maybe some advice? Just some advice, like how to get booked? Oh, for you specifically? Yeah, yeah. Write a fucking joke, buddy. Sorry about your marriage. Fuck that guy, man. I'm great. Yeah, you're great. Thanks. You probably just didn't get my racial material, right? Yeah, you're the best. You're all the best. You're my best friends. You're... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Oh, I was actually planning on booking someone, but come on, you saw those guys. Yeah. Um, brave? It was brave. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. From where I was sitting, it was also very bad. I didn't like it. It was brave, but bad. Is that possible? You ever talk to someone on like the bus accidentally because your headphones are broken and then they just talk to you about 9-11? That's what a set felt like. It felt like 9-11 on my ears and my face.